Hey guys, just wanted to say hello, happy Friday. Uh, if you haven't received palms, go ahead and go outside in your yard and grab a spruce branch, just like the people of Jerusalem grabbed whatever greenery they could find to welcome Lord Jesus into their town. That's how we're going to welcome Jesus into our homes this Sunday after Palm Sunday. Um, we have a lovely palm uh, and flower decoration provided by the deacons, so thank you so much for that. And um, we have this, this huge Bible here, and I'm not sure I've ever actually read out of it, but I thought, you know, now is as good a time as ever, so enjoy this reading from a very large Bible. Matthew chapter 5. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil on your account, falsely. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For just so men persecuted the prophets who went before you. Whether you're reading from a gigantic Bible or the Bible on your phone or anything in between, know that you are blessed, whether you're feeling meek or merciful, whether you're mourning or poor in spirit, making peace or hungering and thirsting for righteousness. Know that the upside-down kingdom of Jesus Christ, the one that confuses and befuddles the evil in this world, sees you, that Jesus will continue to bless you, and that in Christ we shall have victory. Amen.